been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. this area just these immediate campgrounds we we wanted to touch base on that while we were here even though we don't have the RV and again all of them have their pluses uh, all of them are going to fit everybody's needs a little bit different so take that for what it's worth and we're going to close this part out because I think it's getting relatively close to lunch and we're going to walk over uh, again I'll shoot some video for you guys so you can see the walk but Hopefully that campground spiel made sense to you. <laughs> Alright, on to the next thing. Alright, so these are the steps that come out of the uh, house down to the pool area. You guys already seen that. And you're going to see how close it is for us to go to the restaurant. It's not far at all. I wonder where we have a hose out here. Ah. So, out the door, past our parking. And where this truck is delivering beer right now, or whatever he's delivering, that's the restaurant we normally eat at right there. <laughs> and we're like bored <laughs> with that restaurant. We've eaten so many times there. Now, this truck's so loud. I hope you guys can hear me. So there's the gift shop, Surfside Beach. We got a t-shirt there and a couple other things. They're priced like you would imagine. And then... This is a pizza shop that says Brown Building, and we'll go around the corner and you'll see there's another restaurant and souvenir shop that we were at, but yeah, we'll pick this up as I walk a little further here. I'm tired of hearing this truck. All right, so we're past that noisy truck. So here's Surfside Diner. We've eaten in there, and then the ice cream souvenirs and gifts. Uh, here's the thing. Apparently, when they rebuild the pier, they're knocking down those buildings because they're going to make the pier out of concrete and it's going to be like nine foot taller. So the building's got to be taller. And then over in this area here, like I said, this is the pizza shop. And then Bubba's is just down the street a little ways. I'll show you. I wonder what that other place is down there. sidewalk over there. Oh, I don't care about that. Hey, no sidewalk on that side. Yeah, pizza hyena. It was good. It was good food there. As far as uh, bicycle rental, uh, our son rented a bike for basically five or six days, and it was like $54 for the whole time. Now, you can also get scooters there. Of course, you can rent golf carts, and I think there's a couple other things. Oh, there we go. Umbrellas, beach chairs, grills, gas and charcoal, baby equipment, bikes, and more. It's pretty reasonable. And then there's Bubba's Fish Shack right there. And then you can see right next to it, there's another bar and grill and then over here is Scotty's Beach Bar so you can get an idea of how much eating and drinking we've been doing all this time yeah a lot
Good morning YouTube and this is the last day of our vacation. Go figure that out. So we did our campground drive through. That video went way longer than I wanted to. And then uh, as you just seen, we're not that far away from all those restaurants and everything. You can get an idea. That's why we haven't uh, been able to do so well on any kind of a diet whatsoever. It's just too close, too convenient. and. Like everybody says, oh, you're on vacation. Well, it shouldn't be an excuse, but unfortunately it is. We're packing up, and we're going to head back up north. Um, the thing is, is I, I'm not sure how we're going to drive it. We would like to drive straight through. Um, that way Heidi has a couple days off before she has to go to work. Uh, she has some obligations for the week, and then, again, we're going to be packing up and going to... Uh, to another little RV trip. I don't think we've disclosed that yet. Maybe we will shortly here. <laughs> so we're gonna take you guys along. It's really sad that we'll be leaving. Uh, I really, really uh, enjoy this type of uh, vacation. I love the beach. Um, and you know what's funny? I, I didn't even put my feet in the water but just a few times. It's just the atmosphere. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell but it's just a, a human nature thing or something that I, I don't even know how to describe it everybody just congregates and stares at the beach and the sun in the morning I mean it's it's a sunrise and if you could see I know this camera doesn't pick it up as well as you know some of these other ones but man I, it's just amazing how many people are lined on the beach and they're all staring at the sun I mean they're just soaking it in uh, you know, I guess as humans, you know, as far as a primal instinct, we just congregate towards water and the sun. You know, they both bring life to everything that we cherish, um, including ourselves. But as far as uh, the vacation, it, like I said, it's pretty much over for us. Uh, they got some early checkout times here. Uh, you pretty much have to be out by 10. <laughs> and it's it's still way early but yeah i i'll tell you what i'm uh i'm kind of antsy to to get on the road and get home however i definitely want to capture whatever we may run into for you guys as you know how it is when you're on the road a lot of things can happen so let's go ahead and say goodbye to this area one last time and back to the house and preparing for our next rv trip all right, so we're making pretty good time. I uh, have yet to put any more gas in the truck. And uh, John Schrag, you asked about mileage since he has a truck like this one. And we're running 73, 74 miles an hour. Whatever the speed limit is, we add four. And uh, I'm over 1,100 miles on this trip, including all the driving we did down in Myrtle Beach. Um, or in that area, it's 14.4 miles per gallon. I would assume that we're gonna get back up to 15 by the time we get home. Um, so it's doing really well. And even with this 34 gallon tank, I'm just below a half. And we're at the Virginia Welcome Center. I got him a snack. Oh. <laughs> so uh, one of the things that kind of delayed us a little bit is a, um, shut down they shut down 74 was that it 73 73 so 73 was shut down and this is one of the reasons you guys say well you got enough GPS's you know kidding around about that stuff well this one's ways and ways will tell us a lot of times when there's delays and stuff however I have the Garmin smart link that's connected to my phone that's feeding this GPS with live HD traffic updates as we go along there's there's updates that come across um, a little signal thing right here the antenna uh, but these HD updates they happen really fast they're they're quick and in this case it kept on saying there's a delay uh, up ahead uh, you know when we were approaching this you know on 73 and it said but you're on the fastest route you know and then it was saying 15 minute delay and then it was saying you can go around and it would save you four minutes and then it was saying you know 15 minute delay and then it said something else and it kept on saying that there was a delay and and it kept on saying we were on the fastest route well at some point it just flipped and it said you need to reroute because 73 is closed 
So even though our uh, other entourage is ahead of us, um, I think they're all behind us now. Yeah. And we took the reroute. It added um, about 10 minutes to our overall trip. Uh, but those guys, again, they're behind us, and they were way behind, way ahead of us, about 20 some miles ahead of us uh, before the delay. So that's why I run two GPSs or two GPS systems. And uh, again, the other big reason is this has a dash cam too. So in case we run into something weird, um, we have it on dash cam. So we're gonna head home. Uh, hopefully uh, the rest of this trip's okay. I gotta unplug my radar detector, so time to pay attention. So we stopped in West Virginia. Um, looks like we're gonna be there around, uh, from what I can tell, excuse all that noise. That radar text is driving me crazy. <laughs> uh, from what I can tell, around eight o'clock tonight. Um, one of the things I wanna point out though is Waze, the Waze app. I told you why I had the GPS and what it did for us during this trip. Now let me tell you what the Waze app did for us. As we were driving, we got a notification that there was an object in the road, and I could see it, and I slowed down, and it was a big piece of tire. You know one of those big, fat truck tires? Um, it wasn't the skinny ones. It was the big, fat ones. Well, the driver of the truck pickup truck uh, that was driving in that lane just didn't care. Um, it hit the bottom of his truck, and he just didn't care. And it flipped up, and it took out the next three cars. The first one was immediate, the front end, plastic, everything, the radiator. Uh, the next one after that, it did something to the front end also, to where the plastic was falling off. And the third one, I think, got hit with a bunch of debris, because there was all kinds of, it was like an explosion of black plastic from those cars. And I was in the middle lane. Um, so as we went just a little bit further, there was a tractor trailer off the road. That was his tire. And of course, then there were uh, two other cars. And those two other cars, guess what? They had gotten damage from that same piece that came off that truck. Hearing the CB rattle off here. So that's what Waze did for us. So you may want to look at maybe running two GPSs. I mean, that's, that's one of the pluses. Uh, yeah, just filled up, cost about 70 some dollars, but I have enough gas now to get home. So that was nice. We made it from uh, uh, Surfside, um, where we filled up, to here, where we filled up, or topped off. I had about 80 miles to go, and uh, this will get us home easily. Uh, we'll have plenty of gas to get home. So hopefully nothing happens, and we'll be able to report from home. Heidi's getting some snacks. Well, here we are, going underneath the big bridge. That can only mean one thing back in Ohio. There's the Ohio River and all the fun that's happening. People boating down there. And yes, Ohio, find us here. I mean, find it here. <laughs> find, find us here stuck in the snow. <laughs> You're funny. Yeah, I know. So we literally been home for like 20 minutes and look what Michael's doing. Rain's coming tomorrow. The grass is a little high. It's not real high. It looks okay. But um, he does like to keep our lawn mowed. We don't want to be one of those neighbors. So uh, that's what he's doing. And then I'm going to finish um, unpacking the truck. And we're going to call it a day long day. Quick. Okay, so well, my lawn's mowed <laughs> in the dark. It should be interesting to see tomorrow. 
yeah i want to get that crap done because it's calling for rain and as high as it is uh, the mower doesn't like to cut when it gets wet um and high so anyways we just got a little bit of stuff to put away and after all this stuff's put away we're officially done with vacation <laughs> and then we've got to start on the rv uh i don't know we gotta put everything in there so what's what's the word the word yeah what kind of word what are, what are we looking for <laughs> like as always hope yeah. to see you out there yeah that's the bye word. <laughs> bye <laughs>